welcome everyone in this video we'll talk about standardization along with what are primary and secondary standards so the term standardization is a very important term or we can say this is a very important topic both for theory as well as practical examination so Standardization means determination of strength of a given sample solution and can be determined by reacting the solution quantitatively with the standard solution. So here two things we must know. Firstly, what is standardization? Standardization means determining the strength of a solution. So in standardization, what we do, we determine the strength of a solution. Now we will do in a few seconds what is strength. For that, uh, the second question which comes over here is that how do we determine the strength of a solution? So the strength of a solution is determined by titrating it with the standard solution. So here two terms are very much important. Firstly, the strength and secondly, standard solution. So up to here we know that in standardization we determine the strength of a solution and how do we determine it? We determine it by titrating it with the standard solution. So firstly strength of the solution. So strength of the solution is defined as the amount of solute in grams that is present in one liter solution and it can be represented by normality, molarity and molality. So strength is basically the concentration of our solution that like we say about solution 0.1 molar solution or 0.1 normal solution. So these are basically how much concentration is present in the solution. So this is the strength of a solution and the second term standard solution means that the solution whose strength we know is known as the standard solution. So strength is the concentration of the solution and the solution whose concentration or strength we know is known as the standard solution. Now let us understand with an example that how do we standardize our solution. So titration is one of the ways by which we can standardize our solution. Let us take an example like there is a solution A and there is another solution B. Now solution A is our sample in whom we need to standardize we need to standardize this sample which means that we need to determine its strength so this is our sample solution a which we need to standardize which means that we need to determine its strength and this is the our uh, solution b which is a standard solution standard solution means that we already know its strength so its strength is known now let us take an example that its strength is 0.10 n. So this is its strength. This is sample solution. This is standard solution. Now what we will do, this is our conical flask and this is our burette. Let me draw a rough, rough diagram. So in our conical flask, we will take our sample solution A and from the burette, we will begin our titration and in the burette, we will take our standard solution B. So and the endpoint will be determined by uh, some suitable indicator. This is just a rough diagram. So we know that there is a formula N1V1 is equals to N2V2. And let us consider that N1 is the normality of sample A and V1 is the volume of sample A used. N2 is the normality of our standard and V2 is the volume of standard used. So now uh, what we need to do is we need to find the strength of our sample which means that we need to find the normality of our uh, sample. So N1 is equals to N2 V2 upon V1. The volume of V2 and V1 used in the titration we can calculate and N2 we already know because uh, the, uh, the solution B is a standard solution and standard solution means that we know its strength which was this one. So by this formula we can calculate the strength of our sample solution A and when we will calculate its strength our solution sam our sample solution A will be standardized. So this is the way how we standardize our sample solution by titrating it with the standard solution. So I hope up to here it is clear that how do we standardize it. So standardization means that we have to find the strength of a solution and how do we find it? One of the ways of finding the strength of the solution is to titrate it with the standard solution and standard solution is those whose concentration is known. Known concentration. Now the standard solutions are also of two types. The standard solutions are of two types, primary standard and secondary standard. 
Now the first one is primary standard. So primary standard is a solution of known strength made from the substance of high purity. So this is a standard solution. So definitely its strength will be known. Now primary standard is the one which is made from a substance of very high purity and there are certain conditions which a primary standard must follow. It should be highly stable. It should be obtained in the pure state. It should have high molecular weight. It should be of high solubility. That means it should be readily soluble in water. Now these are the conditions for a primary standard. Now let us uh, uh, discuss some examples. Now for example we need to find the strength of an acid for example HCl or hydrochloric acid. So what we will do we will titrate it with our primary standard sodium carbonate and we can find the strength of our acids. So sodium carbonate is, is an example of primary standard which is used to find the strength of acids. Now for example we have to find the strength of some base for example uh, sodium hydroxide. So the strength of sodium hydroxide can be determined by titrating it with primary standards such as potassium hydrogen methylate and oxalic acid. So for redox titrations the primary standard which is used is generally potassium dichromate. So these are few examples of primary standard which are used to uh, uh, type which are used to determine the strength of acids, bases and certain redox titrations. Now the second type of uh, primary standard is the secondary standard. So secondary standard is a solution of known strength definitely because it is a uh, standard solution. So its strength will be known. Now this is this uh, which is previously standardized by a primary standard. So the basic difference between primary standard and secondary standard is that primary standard is uh, obtained from very high substance and the secondary standard is the solution which is standardized by a primary standard. Therefore primary standard is always of very high quality and the secondary standard might not be of very high quality as the primary standard. And the second difference between these two is that the primary standard is used to standardize the secondary standard where the secondary standard is used in analytical operations. So these are the two difference between the primary standard and the secondary standard. For example, standard solution of 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, standard solution of 0.1 normal sulfuric acid. These both are stand secondary, uh, secondary standards because they were standardized previously with the help of a primary standard. This sodium hydroxide which is a base is standardized by titrating it with the potassium hydrogen pathalate which is a primary standard and the sulfuric acid which is an acid is standardized by titrating it with the primary standard such as sodium carbonate. So this was all in this video. If you liked it please subscribe. Thank you.